Hi friends, how are you? Hope you all are well and doing good job. Welcome you all in my YouTube channel. Today in this video, I am going to explain about urites and purines. So, what is urites? Acyl derivatives of urea are called urites. So, this is urea. You can see here, this is urea. And if you remove one hydrogen from NH2 and add acyl group CH3CO then this compound is forming acetyl urea so this is simple urides so urides are classified into group simple urides are open chain urides and second cyclic urides so what is simple urides simple urides is prepared by the action of acyl chloride or acid anhydride of monocarboxylic acid on urea so here you can see this is CH3COCl acetyl chloride react with urea and forming acetyl urea this is the acetyl urea you see CH3CONH COCH3 NH2 so these portions whatever I circle it this is the urea and just remove one proton with respect to CH3CO so you see it is known as acetyl urea now again you react with CH3COCl and this hydrogen is also replaced by CH3CO so urea both two protons or two hydrogen is replaced by acyl group which is circle by yellow line so this is diacetyl urea both compounds are simple urides now come to the cyclic urides so cyclic uride examples of cyclic uride is parabenic acid this is you see the parabenic acid and circle one because urea should be there in CO NH NH CO CO so how it is forming it is prepared by the action of dicarboxylic true carboxylic acid means dicarboxylic acid on urea in the presence of phosphoryl chloride this is POCl3 is known as phosphoryl chloride so oxalic acid form parabenic acid this is oxalic acid this is urea and this is parabenic acid which is cyclic urides so parabenic acid is a cyclic urides now cyclic urides may be obtained by refluxing a diester with urea in ethanolic solutions containing sodium ethoxide malonic acid form barbi turic acid so you see that this is barbituric acid this is barbituric acid and this is diester this is the and this is react with urea in the presence of sodium ethoxide after reflections two molecule of ethanol removed and this barbituric acid form 
this is in cyclic form so this is also a cyclic urides so this is the five member one two three four five member ring and this you can see here six member ring so this is the example of parabenic is examples of five member cyclic urides and this is the examples of barbituric acid example of six member cyclic urides now come to five member cyclic urides so you see the parabenic acid uridium oite is there identoin uridium oite is there and six member cyclic urides barbituric acid urea moiety is there so come to the purines uric acid and other closely related compounds such as caffeine adenine guanine xanthine hypoxanthine form a group of complex cyclic urides they are all derived from the same parent substance purine and are therefore named as purines purines may be of cyclic diurides since they could be considered as built from two molecules of urea and one of a dicarboxylic acid so this is purines it is converted this nitrogen sometimes coming here so both a structure is possible and this is six member ring and you see this nitrogen this nitrogen this is carbon look like urea derivative this nitrogen this and this carbon look like urea derivative so this is also important related to urines so purines how you synthesize because it is not found in nature so you can synthesize with the help of this diamine 4 5 diamino pyrimidine react with formic acid and this is forming this is purine purine so next video i will explain about the uric acid which is very important so hope this video will be helpful to you for the preparation of tdc part 3 exam if you like this video subscribe it share it with your friend thank you for watching my video